you were born in Seattle and uh, you're now based in uh, Los Angeles, is that, that correct? That's right, yep. Well, when did you move to Los Angeles? I moved to Los Angeles about uh, eight or nine years ago when I was just uh, right after graduating uh, high school, so uh -huh. secondary school. Do you, do you feel more uh, Seattle or LA now, would you say? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sort of a hybrid, I'm sort of both, I guess. Uh, but yeah, I mean, uh, uh, I'm definitely a, a Seattle person, you can see. All, uh, <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, I don't know, I love LA. LA is a good party town and there's a lot of good music in LA. The idea I have of like Seattle and the whole Washington state is that it's kind of gloomy and uh, and then uh, it's obviously you know I'm I'm being very succinct over here <laughs> but uh, and LA is kind of more like a beat you know so it's like a mix of both is it a balance or a, like like more of a bipolar thing <laughs> I suppose more of a bipolar thing uh, uh, that was part of the reason I moved away from Seattle, is just that uh, I couldn't stand the rain anymore. And, uh, <laughs> got to LA and it's all sunny all the time there, so it's great. <laughs> I think I can speak for most Portuguese people that would be with you on that one, I think. <laughs> that reflects in your music, like the geography? Absolutely. Uh, I think that uh, my songs definitely are sort of rooted in the kind of Seattle songwriter sensibility, but uh, I definitely take a lot from the, the Los Angeles sort of dance vibe and all the kind of, you know, I don't know, sort of that, that sort of thing. So I think definitely it's sort of a hybrid with those two things. I don't mean to be trite with my question, but you know, it's something that I, I've, I've uh, asked with, uh, to uh, Washington uh, State musicians. It seems to me like Washington State has a great tradition in hardcore and uh, very creative hardcore bands like, I mentioned this a lot, but it's like Blood Brothers and uh, Idiot Pilot, for instance, from Bellingham. Um, do you think that, uh, were you like uh, uh, into har that sort of hardcore scene uh, when you were younger? I mean, you moved to LA early, but you know. Uh, definitely. I mean, I, I remember going to see the Blood Brothers down at the uh, the Grange Hall down the street from my uh, house when I was in like junior high or high school or something. Wow. So it's yeah, yeah. I've, I've I was uh, you know I was definitely a part of that scene though. Uh, I was definitely more a part of the indie scene kind of growing up and uh, wow. you know kind of the indie rock thing. But yeah, definitely, I definitely was influenced by all that stuff and mm -hmm. went to a lot of those concerts growing up. Which bands were like the earliest uh, triggers to you uh, wanting to make music? That's funny, you know, I mean, uh, I'd say the first thing I really listened to a lot when I was a kid was Pat Metheny, which is kind of a funny thing. Uh, I Jeff. love Pat Metheny. Yeah. <laughs> which is, yeah, that, that was kind of what got me going. I was into a lot of kind of pop punk and stuff in junior high, and then I got into... Blink some. Yeah, yeah, all that stuff, you know. <laughs> so today. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, but then, you know, uh, growing up in Seattle, there was always like, you know, Modest Mouse and Death Cab. Those were really strong presences. So it's kind of like, you know, Dave Bazan, all that kind of stuff. So that kind of, you know, indie songwriting kind of always crept into what I did. Curious thing with you, in which you use um, uh, video game uh, joy pads and joysticks as m controllers for to trigger sounds live and stuff. You know, using a joystick and I use a Wiimote and I use a oh. gamepad and stuff like that. It just kind of came out of I, I, you know, I owned all these things and and anything can trigger a sound on a computer once you learn how to hack it. So it was just kind of a natural progression and people. It's really exciting for people to watch. So yeah, it, is. <laughs> it is unusual. <laughs> Certainly, yeah. but it's kind of it's kind of telling that uh, you're good at really good at some video games. Actually, you know, it's funny, it's funny, somebody, somebody had written that about me, but I actually don't play video games at all. <laughs> I never really got into video games, so I was just, uh, it was always, I had the controllers and stuff laying around, but, yeah. I was imagining like, like you were like a total, uh, uh, what do you mean, total pro at like Halo or something. <laughs> Not at all, no, it was actually, it's kind of funny, I mean, that's the reason that, uh, uh, you know, I got so good at music is because my parents never allowed me to have video games, so oh. I just spent all my days, you know, working on Acid at the time. It was a uh, software I used to use, but yeah, no, okay. I use Logic and stuff, so. Would you say that uh, 
say global concept is about perception or the perception of perception? Yeah, I think it is definitely about perception and then kind of how you see yourself in, in, in the universe and kind of how, how uh, you know, how a person uh, manifests their reactions to music, uh, oh. something like that. Okay. Okay, cool. <laughs> or whatever. Or, or, or whatever. <laughs>